Kyle Busch is back, and NASCAR takes a serious look at its short track downforce package. Let's talk about it. Coming up next. <laughs> What is going on? Hope everybody is doing good today. All right, Kyle Busch announced he is unretiring from the retirement, he said, of where he was going to retire from the Xfinity Series. We all knew that that wasn't going to last long, right? So they should, they might as well just call it the Bush Series, right? Because Kyle Busch dominates it, not because it used to be called the Bush Series. Anyway, let's take a look at this from colleague and Bob Pockers. Colleague, of course, dropping he's back. He will drive the number 10 Chevrolet Camaro for Colleague Racing. Uh, and also, not for nothing, he's driving the 10 car. He drives the 8 car in the Cup Series. 10 plus 8 is 18. So, I don't know what that means, but it's pretty cool. And Bob Parker's letting us know that Kyle Busch will do five Xfinity Series races in the Colleague number 10. Vegas 1, Phoenix 1, Charlotte, Watkins Glen, and Darlington race number 2. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, we knew he wouldn't stay retired long. When he said he was retiring from the Xfinity Series, I knew he wasn't going to be uh, retired very long either. But it, of course, brings up the great debate, should Cup Series drivers go down and bushwhack or race in the Xfinity and Truck Series? I think five races is the perfect number for this. Nobody complained back in the day when Dale Earnhardt, Harry Gant, and all those guys did it. It gives the Bush Series or the uh, Xfinity Series guys something to shoot for. They're aiming to beat Kyle Busch and the other Cup regulars that come down there for those five races. And as long as those five races aren't in the playoffs, I like it even better because I don't want a Cup Series driver interfering with the Xfinity or Truck Series playoffs. Not a playoff fan, but since that is the system, I would like to see them make all of their starts before the playoffs start. I think NASCAR has a... Uh, thing in place so that that doesn't happen as well but I think overall it's a good thing but let me know down in the comments I know this is a controversial topic let me know how you feel about cup drivers going down to Xfinity NASCAR is likely to institute a lower downforce rules package for the Gen 7 on short track and road courses but drivers say there's still a lot of work to be done on that front exclusive quotes from Elliot Byron Reagan and more in this article from the Motorsports Tribune so you see Matt Weaver with that and he was responded to by Brian Murphy, who said, I'm all about lowering tons of downforce. I'm not much in favor of removing any of it from the outer body. The dependency of underbody efficiency needs to be lowered in every way. Brian Murphy, of course, works at Stuart Haas Racing and has the podcast All Things Go. I think that's the name of it. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. Uh, if not, let them know down in the comments uh, what the name of the podcast is. Anyway... I do agree with them. The underbody is, they're making more downforce with the underbody right now. And that is where the vast majority of the dirty air is coming from. Back in the day when the dirty air was coming off the top of the car, you saw a lot better results with being able to pass and things like that. But when they started fooling with the underbody of the car, that's when you saw the dirty air become a significant factor, even on short tracks and road courses where you're not necessarily in those places carrying the maximum amount of speed. And that's because if you think about it, to Get the car to have downforce with the underbody. That means the air under the car is going faster than the air over top of the car, and it sucks the car down, right? Okay, it's sort of the opposite of an airplane. The airplane, the, the air going underneath the airplane is going slower, and it's going faster over the top. That's where you get lift. So they're doing the exact opposite with the race car, and that would stand to reason that you're getting more dirty air on that front end of that nose, that splitter, because all of that dirty air has to go out underneath the bottom. So I think he is 100% right. They need to tweak the air going underneath of the car, and that will help the air coming out the back of the car. That's just my two cents on it, but he's he knows a whole lot more than I do about these things, especially because he works on the cars, so I'm, I'm agreeing with him here, but let me know down in the comments what you think about what they need to do about the short track package and short one, but that's all I got for you on this one. If you like the content, feel free to subscribe. All your subscriptions mean a lot to the channel. It helps it grow. We just went over 9,000, so I'm going to have to figure out something cool to do for that. So I really, really appreciate all of you who are subscribed. As always, you guys know that. And if you've got a comment, question, or anything like that, leave it down in the comment section. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.